is up everybody my name is Rocket Mambo and welcome back to another Tyrant Craft video and in today's video I will show you how to install Tyrant Craft onto your PC or USB stick and how to use it on your PlayStation 2 or on an emulator so with that being all said and done let's jump into today's video okay so what you want to do is you want to come down to this page right here, Tire Craft, the official website, official page. Uh, the link will be in the description below for the website, so be sure to check that out. So what you want to do is you want to scroll all the way down, or through the downloads, but the recording thing is in the way. So what you want to do is you want to download, uh, not download, but uh, scroll down. And what you want to do is you want to download the ELF file, which is what I'll do. And there you go, you got the L file installed. And then you, what you want to do is you want to um, download the assets. And there you go. Uh, that's not all of it just yet, but uh, there's more to it, of course. So let me just. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have downloaded the files. What you want to do is you want to go to your file explorer and then what you want to do uh, you want to double click on the assets folder uh, if it open yep uh, ignore that and what you'll see here is a folder within the zip called Terracraft. Uh in here contains a readme.txt which contains all the instructions of how to do it but since some people don't know how to read instructions, I will show you visually how to do it. So what you want to do is you want to take out your tire craft. Let's just put it right here. Um, if it will. Oh, okay, yeah, in this, of course, yeah. That's understandable. Um, so yeah, you want to do this. Uh... Let's just skip, yeah. Because <laughs> I already have this folder already um, up and at them. So yeah, we got TerraCraft right here. They can see everything. And then what you want to do now is uh, go back to... No, nope, not this. We don't need that no more. What you want to do now is you want to go to your back to your downloads and what you want to do is you want to drag the pre alpha dial file into the tirecraft folder and it should be there obviously i already have it in there so what i'm going to do i'm just going to delete that um and i don't need that either and i don't need this either so let me delete it Alright. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, quickly do that. Alright. So, yeah. We got Tirecraft on, on all set up now. So, now what do you want to do? Well, if you're running it on an emulator, what you want to do is you want to go down uh, to PCSX2. And it's only compatible with the latest version, not the stable one, but the more or rather less the nightly build, which I have installed and I learned that the hard way. Uh, I'll update it later. So before you uh, start Tirecraft, what you want to do is you want to go under settings. You want to go under emulation. And then what you want to look for is you want to look for enable host file system. This will grant you to play anything that isn't an ISO in PCSX2, like .l files, for example. So you want to click that, enable, close. And then what you want to do is you want to go to system, the usual stuff, start file, go and find Tirecraft, select the prealpha.l and away you go it should boot just fine um again uh on P playstation 2 you need a, you need a uh, soft modded on um, ps2 to get it running 
but uh, I won't cover how to do that, so uh, yeah. So I guess I'll end today's uh, video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.